Continuing on with these sessions on the four track reel to reel restoration process. All right, so this is the type of oil that you need. We, I typically use sewing machine oil because it seems to be very, very well qualified for this type of function. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to drip just one drop right into this hole right there. And then we'll show you a little about what goes into this next reel. It's a little more difficult. Those are the two reels that you have to pay attention with this oil. Okay, so here we are with the oil and you just grab one small drop. So I'll just squeeze one drop in there. And of course you want to make sure that the deck is laying down and you want to brace it so that you don't have any uh, drippage running all over the place. Now let's go to the next motor. The next motor is a lot more difficult because you have to align that small little hole right there. If You probably can't see it, but you have to align that with the actual drop. And then you grab your oil and you insert one drop of oil in there as well. Now what I tend to do is I let it sit for just a short period of time and then I actually turn uh, the reels a little bit from the front and I'll show you that right now. Yeah, so this is the reel that we actually just finished and we want to make sure that that turns around a little bit to just spread the, the oil out. Now you only want to turn it one way because if I turn it back this way I'm actually working against the brakes. And that's a section I really can't throw, show you because it, it's, you have to remove the front and the back and then you have to tear into it quite extensively. And the brakes have lasted me over 30 years so it's not something that is all that important. This screw on the front, just by the way, is an adjustment for height. So if it doesn't roll properly you can adjust the height with this one. So that's the one. The other reel that will turn is down here. But of course that's turned from the back. That's the capstan motor. This is the take-up roller here. And that, you have to take this other piece off like we talked about before to actually lubricate that. And I've never actually done that. So those are the th three other pieces in terms of the three motors that you actually lubricate here. Okay, so join us next session to where we've now finished up the back part of the deck. And we'll have to proceed to the front to show you about the, the heads the pressure roller, and the capstan. Till then, I'm Kurt at KGB Studios. See you later.